Welcome to My Startup TV. I'm Major Sunil Shetty. Uh, we are the day three of India Startup Festival 2023. Uh, and I have a very special guest with me today, who is Abhirami, Abhirami uh, Sukumaran, who is the uh, uh, developer advocate at Google and also a mentor with startups. Welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Major. <laughs> I'm a developer advocate at Google and um, additionally, I also mentor startups as part of uh, Google Star uh, Accelerator, Startup Accelerator program. Uh, from a technology perspective, um, I do that as part of my role as well. So that's a little so, bit about me. So you, you you are at the you are, you are today here at the round table. Just share a little bit of your experience. What what was the you know key takeaway for you from the startup? You know all those people, those stalwarts who come from you know in different capacities who were at the round table. I should say I was overwhelmed with the amount of experience and uh, majority of them were serial entrepreneurs. Some of their ventures are startups and some of their ventures are already very well established businesses. So it was really a lot of stuff uh, to learn from their experience. Um, Predominantly in the areas of um, uh, what kind of customer experience is required and how to scale for startups and also um, like skill and how to, how do they scale their skill set, their resources, how they um, maintain it. So all those things were very uh, interesting for me from different industries and backgrounds as well. Um, there was obviously um, very hyper local industry like uh, agriculture specific to India and there were industries ranging from beauty, cosmetics and um, security and all such uh, areas. So that was very interesting for me. And uh, one other thing which was um, uh, fascinating was how every industry today is um, able to use technology and AI to grow from where they are to take that leap with their businesses. So that was exciting. Uh, that, very, very true. Very true. So we've been hearing this through the you know uh, event uh, through the festival. Uh, as a mentor yourself, you know you mentor startups. Uh, what has been your experience in the last since you started? Uh, what kind of progress have you seen among startups when it comes to use of technology and especially AI? That's a, that's been a very interesting experience for me working or interacting with startups because. Um, they are starting from, there are different range of startups. Some already know what exactly they want. Some envision a future with certain specific technology. And there are some who are, uh, who don't know what they want. So I learn from people who already know and already are um, there, are right there. And they just come in for, hey, I have a few questions. Will this work with this? Um, how do I integrate this? Mostly all from technology perspective is what I mentor them on. So. Uh, particularly Google Cloud specific uh, topics um, and I predominantly focus on data, databases and that area, AI, ML. Um, so around data and databases and um, use of machine learning, use of technology for doing um, data analytics and all. So I take that experience from people who are already established and uh, startups who, who know what they're doing and how it adds value and also engage them or uh, encourage them to do to fix certain things that they are having gaps with and also um, showing them opportunities to integrate their existing solutions. That way they eliminate the waste and use only like uh, focus on the things that they really need to grow their business. And I use that uh, experience and I use that um, knowledge with people who are still discovering what they want and also with the startups who are uh, like white paper they 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 know they have the business idea for but from a technology perspective um they get fascinated by the things that technology provides for example google cloud in in the different services that we have uh, they get excited about oh i can do this with bigquery i can do this with the uh, vision api oh i want to read uh, video i want to uh, be able to extract details or insights or metrics from my video images so that kind of excites them so different kind of um, our audience so yeah, that that has been the experience for me so far. So uh, in that capacity, I'm sure you know uh, startups have benefited from your understanding, your knowledge, and, and, and experience of technology. Has has it been for you also learning from the startup and taking it into your profession? Definitely, because um, the kind of challenges, technological and platform challenges that uh, startups face, can easily if you think. Uh, startup in a way is if you're running a project in a big organization for example um, if it's your brainchild if it's your idea you're pitching your idea to your leadership and they accept it and they say go run it this is here is your team it is very similar to running a startup except that there you'll have the approval and you're guided and you're uh, funded or sponsored I should say by your leaders leadership and in startups it is 
you're doing it but with external folks to begin with right so it's very much so there is so much to learn um and definitely uh, uh, like how they are looking at things and how they scale things or what are the opportunities that lie ahead of them is something that i always uh, learn from yeah yeah it is it has been a thorough learning experience for me so uh, uh, india solar festival how has that been for you uh, i know you you come today for the event yeah uh, so far whatever you see in experience can you share your thoughts about it definitely so i just came in here for the third day of the event and um, i'm like i said before it was overwhelming for me to see the place itself is gigantic it's uh happening here in the uh, outskirts of bangalore so it's it's a huge space and um, there are so many booths with startups and other um sponsors who are to- pitching who are talking about that to people who are walking around and um for me it's one overwhelming and two a lot of networking experience a lot of uh, connections with people um both from a technology perspective and also um it's it's really fun there were so a few colleges who have this incubation center or they have this uh, wing innovation wing uh, this college from chandigarh i forget the name of the college but it's really interesting that they have the final year of the college dedicated for uh, doing startups or building ideas so i found that very intriguing because um that should be the way that's that's the way forward for india that's like building for india like uh, grooming them then and there and allowing them the opportunity i think most universities should start doing that if if that yeah, is that good correct that, so isn't it? yeah yeah and the ideas that they have it's amazing i i uh, i don't want to talk about their ideas for them but definitely um very fun ideas like customized i mean i don't want to talk about the ideas but it's really fun i enjoyed i enjoyed every single moment of it <laughs> and uh, finally any any advice you have from a technology standpoint uh, uh, for the startups you know uh, about what to, what what should they see in coming time or what should they start doing now to be there with the technology um this is one thing that i always emphasize um so there is a thin line between ideation not thin line ideation or execution is always a contemplation between contemplation for startups or anyone who is ha- who has an idea people always um i mean i'm i'm i can only speak from the technology perspective because i am not an entrepreneur myself i work uh, but then um ideation is where people keep grinding their ideas and uh, talking to people about it which is good but at some point you've got to start executing and you have to start somewhere from a technology perspective at least and yes um, don't jump straight into building your product straight into writing the code for the product if it involves technology your business um, always it is important to have a balance between ideation and con- to do the design considerations design discussions see what kind of data you're using what how how else can i pivot it like what is the future 3 months down the line 6 months down the line a quarter a uh, half a year or a year or 3 years just have a plan for all the things that you could do with the data that you have right now and you might you might be even creating data out of your business um it which might be looking like it's waste of uh, storage but think about the ways that you can repurpose that into your own business or pivot into something that could be useful and also do the uh, do all the design considerations for applications or database or whichever data that you're building and storing um and make sure you t- think about the security perspective privacy regulatory requirements and everything think about all the design considerations and then rinse and repeat and build your product and not build before finalize your architecture and one important thing is i would say Uh, after you rinse and repeat and do this brainstorming within your team whether it's a one person team or a big team that you have make sure you you identify the things that you don't need because majority of the time startups or any project uh, get stuck or get uh, fascinated by all the things that you can use but make sure that you are using the things that you need not really just because it's there yeah. so that will save a lot of effort resources and cost as well so yeah th- that's one thing i would so uh, would you say uh, at what stage technology should start becoming part of a startup at what stage because you know very early stage startups probably don't have the kind of funding required um, and, and there also are there anything that they can tap into as a a free resource where they can you know use that project more important at what stage the very early stage after reach a certain level of traction what would you say suggest as a technology person how would you suggest what would you suggest so you would know right of the start whether your business is going to involve technology or not if it is not a tech product or a tech startup let's say if it's on in some other field 
but still if there is room for technology think about it along side your idea it has to come from the beginning you so can't just plug it that into your yeah even if you don't have funding for it right now think about what all you can do to e- f- prototype it with free resources or like the google for startups accelerator programs if you have an idea and you have a vision for it just try out those things that will allow you to um see what are, what are the resources out there that are just go and check the websites of uh, these programs and uh, just see what resources you, you can tap into to um equip yourself with prototypes to equip yourselves with applications and uh, yeah not that you have to build and uh, build all those things day zero but at least think about it from the beginning from beginning is what i would say so myster tv is a media house for startups and we provide 360 degree coverage an exclusive media house what do you think about the work we do i i, I yeah i really love the I love the concept um with media and news and information being digitized i think that's the way to go <laughs> definitely i mean i'm really excited about that it's nice <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank you thanks for having me about the startup ecosystem subscribe to my startup tv